Hi, Dan here again. I wanted to make sure that everyone was clear about a couple things. I've had a few questions. Um, first off, Monet did nothing wrong. It's exactly the way light does behave when you're outdoors. My point was, in his painting that you see here, there are two light sources. One's the blue sky, and the second light source is the sun. And that's where I say that this all came from, this warm light cool shadows or cool light warm shadows indoors just so I want to make sure there's no mistake about that you know Monet did an absolutely wonderful job on his painting but when you get indoors especially when you're painting still lives or models there's normally one light source and my point is warm light source will give you warm shadows and a cool light source will still give you cooler shadows cooler than what they would be if the light sources were reversed now you might have us with cool light your shadows might be warmer than the cool light but they're still gonna be cool and it shadow color comes from a bunch of things one it comes from partially the object that's being lit I showed you with the white paper towels to show you as much color as possible but if it was red the shadows would still be red but they'd be influenced by the cool light or warm light whatever was actually hitting the object so I just wanted to make sure that we were clear on that and the same thing would be with it was any color okay and the reason you want this is important is for example, if you had something that was a warm light and you put a cool shadow on it, that very often makes your paintings look dirty, especially if you're painting human flesh. That's a very common problem, is people make warm lights for that and cool shadows. So I just wanted to make sure that everyone was totally clear on that. And it is very important, so I want to be as clear as possible. And that's what happens when you take a 30-minute lecture and cram it into a 5-minute video. But that's the way it is. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave it in the comments or email me or visit me on Facebook on my tips page, which is Oil Painting Tips and Tricks. And there's an open discussion board where I encourage you to ask questions and I will answer them. You have a fantastic day and I hope that clarifies any misconceptions about this.